Hi guys, I was under the impression that we wouldn't get information about how much each government department will receive in the budget until the budget itself is released. But it seems GB News got wind of a £1 billion boost for Angela Rayner to build lots of houses. The reporter here then points to some major challenges facing the government's goal of constructing new homes, and she is correct. However, another host, Eamon Holmes, adds a point that doesn't make much sense to the discussion. Have a listen. Angela Rayner is planning to double council house building after winning a boost in the budget to fund tens of thousands of extra homes. She has been given <clears throat> almost a billion in next week's budget from hell, the Halloween budget. Um, and she it's going to be released over 18 months and it's like a down payment on building more council houses, which we all no, we need. We need more houses built in this country. So in theory, in theory, it's a fantastic thing. However, I just don't think, I mean, the Labour, um, Labour promised 1.5 million new homes over the five years. We, well, that's not even going to keep up with the population growth. We need to build 400,000 houses a year as it is. Um, the devil is always in the details with these things, isn't it? Um, so we need to build 400,000 new homes a year as it is. We have a shortage of 266,000 construction workers in this country. Yeah. And she's completely correct here. There's a massive shortage of construction workers. So who's going to build all these homes? So this is a very valid point. Unfortunately, it's coming from pro-Brexit GB News. You know... One of the consequences of Brexit was, of course, the ending of freedom of movement. So, if Britain wants to build all these houses, well, where is it going to get the workers from? We can't bring them in from Europe unless they change the visa si system. And they encourage people to come to Britain. So, there's no talk of changing the visa system at the moment, and there certainly isn't any talk of encouraging immigration. So, how are you going to find the workers you need to build these homes? And, of course... You have to import a lot of materials, and that's expensive, much more expensive than before Brexit. So she's correct when it comes to workers. Brexit is going to make it difficult, more difficult, to construct these homes. Yeah. Who's building the homes? And, as, and then where are you building them? Brownfield sites, that is only going to um, allow for 15% of this, uh, this amount of houses to be built. So where are they going to be built? And the other thing is infrastructure. Mm -hmm. Building the homes is absolutely fine, but you need to build schools. You need GP surgeries. You need transport links. Yeah. All and she's correct about this as well. It's no point just building houses in the middle of nowhere. You need to build houses and add the in infrastructure as well. Now, I hope and I presume that Angela Rayner understands this and whatever new housing is going up, it will include the infrastructure necessary. But let's get to the point that Ian, uh, sorry, Eamon Holmes wants to make. All of these things need to be taken into account and, uh, and We need all those well. workers and we need all those houses and we'll build those houses for those workers to live in. Yeah. Basically, they'll go to migrants. That's what the, these houses will go to. But it It's not GB News if it's not attacking immigration. <laughs> like, you're talking about housing. The reporter here brought up the very valid point of, you know, we don't have the workers. Is it going to include the right infrastructure in those projects? And... Eamon, of course, has to interject with immigration, immigration, migrants. Remember the migrants. We have to talk about them. You know, whatever topic we're, <laughs> we're on, we have to include immigration. It, you know, we have to tick that box. What's it got to do with the government's decision to build enough homes? Will it be enough homes? Probably not. But they have to start doing something. See, it's one of the big problems with GB News and right-wing TV is that they have to bang this drum of immigration constantly. They have to keep their viewers on their toes. Remember immigration, you know, whatever the government is doing, if it's a good thing or a bad thing, we also, also have to remember immigration. We also have to remember asylum seekers. So whatever houses are built, remember they'll go to asylum seekers. If the, if the government is talking about increasing GP appointments, where remember there's also immigrants relying on those GPs. So, you know, whatever the issue, Immigration will have to be uh, shoehorned in some way. It's pretty pathetic. But to the wider point here, if the government is investing money in building new homes, that's a great thing. It's also important that they are 
affordable and social housing, not just housing. Because there's so many people who can't get on the property ladder, who can't access basic housing. They have to rely on private landlords. They have to rely on unscrupulous private landlords. There, need, there needs to be a means for people to get on the property ladder, to get into their own home and, and go from there. But at the moment, it's extremely difficult. So any investment should be welcomed. But of course, as was pointed out, there will be challenges. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what do you think? As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.